<laughs> oh, I can't say what that is. <laughs> no idea. I don't even have a, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Are we, are we back on? We're back. Oh. I'm Command Chief Tom Calaro. I'm the 143rd A Wing Command Chief. Uh, Sergeant Major Zampa, the G3 Operations Sergeant Major for JFHQ. Here to play some military jargon. Let's go. All right, let's do let's this. Study. <laughs> Prop wash. Oh, you gotta go first for that. Prop wash. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea <laughs> in what prop wash is, unless it's some kind of uh, imaginary shampoo that we send young airmen out to get like a, a bucket of flight line or, or something along that lines. Um, so that's my guess. So, and if I'm wrong, I think everybody in the wing will let me know that there is actually prop wash. But I, if somebody told me to go get it, I would assume that it was them trying to be funny. Bolo. Oh, there's a clue. We have a clue. It says Bolo. not be out on the lookout. And I am absolutely lost. Bolo, that's <laughs> kind of a big one in the, in the... On, on the army side, uh, a, a bolo is basically a no-go, if you will. Yeah. Some kind of task, test, validation, certification, or something. Uh, usually at schools, you do a land nav or, or whatever the task may be, and if you, if you fail it, you're basically you're a bolo. You're below the standard, I think, is is the short of it. Beat your face. That, that's pretty much self-explanatory. <laughs> pretty much you did something wrong, so it's time to uh, to pay for that, whatever that wrong may be. It means there's gonna be a physical fitness session in the, in the near future. I'm certain that, that's, that, that the Air Force has something similar to that. I didn't go to Air Force boot camp. I was prior service Marine, so I can't speak to what happens when you break uh, a rule in boot camp. Or, so that's a lot of beating. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, it sounds like a, something to help you motivate you. When you beat your face, you're motivating something. Yeah, sometimes you don't really need a reason. It could be just cause. Just to get motivated. Just cause. Squared away. Yeah. That, to me, that's self-explanatory. Everything's yeah. dress right dress, military standard. Yeah, and that's the same for us, too. So yeah. Being squared away is a good thing. Not like a bolo. Yes, yeah, bolo exact is a opposite. bad thing. This is a good thing. <laughs> Squared square away, you don't get the bolos. Yeah, three, four, one. Give me a four, three, four, one. one. No idea. I mean, Quit, I would think hang it up. location. Uh, oh, you know what I think that is? And, and, I, the, and I think in Air Force, and somebody said this, and I, I could have this all wrong, that in boot camp for the Air Force, you have to carry a 341 in your pocket. And, you, and it's got your name and other, and at some point, if you do something wrong, somebody can say, give me your 341. And that, that slip. It's like a mini bolo. Yeah, like it's, it's bad <laughs> that you had to get, it's bad that you had to give it out to somebody. Um, and I'll have to thank the, the ops folks that I deployed with in Kuwait last year because they, they're the ones that told me that story. And I'm like, you had like paper you carried? And because my boot camp experience was just a tad different in Paris Island. There was, <laughs> but we didn't have 341s, but it's a motivational tool to make sure you don't want to give it away if, I, if I'm right. Okay. Soup, Soup sandwich. sandwich. Again, that's another bad day. You're just not up yeah. to standard. You're right. just, not, just having a really bad day. No. You're a soup sandwich. Not cutting it. Okay. Yeah, you need to go have some alone time and fix it all up. You're just having, would, you're having a bad day. That'd be the substandard air. We all have bad soldier. days. We all have bad days. You gotta go tight Usually it's extremely bad. Yeah, that's a really bad day. Wing King. Wing King. King. Defer. Uh, <laughs> it's the Wing Commander. The Wing Commander is considered the Wing King. That's a good place to be, Wing King. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I assume BRRT means means that sound you make, kind of like the the shredder or somebody screwed something up. That's what I <laughs> That's make, what make of that. When, and I don't know when if they edit this, they're gonna tell everybody what the word really means because if we really, yeah. if we really messed this Which up, be like basic really, like, rifle, yeah, like, some yeah, team, yeah, 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 like some <laughs> kind of thing. Like everybody knows that. Hopefully, it's not an acronym. How those it guys, probably is. How do they say this in military that long? They don't know what that means. But. So, or you can just edit that word out, vert. So actually, a vert is the sound of freedom. So it's when... What do I do with my hands? So a vert, Connors, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. Now, a vert is a sound of freedom by a warthog. An A-10 warthog. Okay, one more time, one more time. Okay. So a BERT is the sound of freedom, and that freedom comes in the form of an A-10 warthog. I think what you should do is also, instead of saying BERT, you just superimpose the sound of an A-10 warthog shape. 
Yeah. Burn.